will kick off the final here in Pizza Hut Stadium. And Henry will get it first. He'll be in the dark cowboy uniforms. And Sirius Mo, undefeated, he will be the home team. Yeah, we kind of knew it was coming, but how about this? The Cowboys versus Cowboys in Texas, right? I mean, we're a stone throw from the stadium. I mean, I mean it's a house of real. Right there. I went out there the other night to watch their preseason game. It was a lot of fun. First time I've ever been there. And so it was just kind of cool, you know. It, it really is just all about Dallas here right now. I went to two games. Romo got hurt both times. And so they kind of asked me to stop coming to the Cowboy games. First and 10. What do you guys got in the chat? Does Mo get it done in one game? Win the belt right here. Give me a one. Or does Henry pull this one out and force it to game two? Give me a two. Where's your heads at? We got championship Madden NFL football going on right now. And how about the MVPs have been rocking with us for the last three days out there in the stream. They've seen a lot of good Madden. And of course, all our competitors that registered and came through that are still in the building, they want to see what's going to happen here in the final. Second and 10. Prescott, clean pocket. Byron. Throws in a coverage, and Byron Jones on, couldn't man. get his mitts on it. Oh, man, and if you thought, Ooh. was Mo going to hold back any of that emotion just because he's playing a crew member and a friend? You see him right there. He's all into this, very emotional, ready to leave it all out. It's a double elimination tournament, so Mo has to lose twice. Henry's got to win two games. If Mo wins here, he is the champ. Oh, good pocket. Come on. Come on. Comes a big fourth and 13, and Henry's been not ashamed to punt it. You know, in Madden, a lot of us Madden players love going for it on fourth down. Even in this situation, a lot of Madden players would go for it right here. I, kind of, I like that Henry is going to punt him, give him a don't give him field goal range already so he can see if he has run defense. You know what I mean? He's going to make him try to work the whole field. That's a good point. And an accurate punt that will find itself out of bounds, and they'll mark it at the 22. <laughs> he flipped the field exactly. Yeah, I love what Mo tried to do there, though. He tried to click off, get him out, so he'll come get back in bounds and just take off, man. That is That really is little next-level stuff that people just don't really they don't know talk about it. really and you've made a living off of that type of stuff skim that some of the things that mike will hit you with that he works on you're just like man this is just a whole nother level and you really have to admire it get every best animation possible here's prescott strong formation he was running eye tight for the probably of the tournament and yeah. he'll get into it right now Got to go ISO here, I feel. Mm, stretch. Stretch it outside. Tries to get a block, not there. He will get absolutely nothing on first down. Real quick, speaking of history, this is the first ever championship game in Pizza Hut Stadium. Got to love it. Second and 10. What a classic it's been. <laughs> that's what's so crazy. You're thinking, that's Rundy, right? That's Rundy. If he misses that tackle, there is no one. No one. Yeah, ma making tackles in the open field and landing hit sticks has definitely been one of the biggest skill gaps I've seen so far in Madden 20. And I've just been very impressed, especially with Henry specifically, with his ability to make those open field tackles, land those hit sticks, and make the right decision in those situations. I've seen Mo pass one time and he's looking for like a glitchy little out route be curious to see if he does pass what his dot is this is something uh, henry needs to remember for the rest of the game or even if there's a next game well mo ran it 22 straight times his last time out this time he'll go oh. to the air and here comes the fourth down got lurked and henry went for the swat instead of the pick and another punt back-to-back -back punts man how often do you see that almost never a little bit of nerves maybe setting in here in the championship Mike Skimbo, RG, Scott Cole with you. Uh-oh. James Cole, keeping an eye on everything. We've got Evan Roman around. Evan. Just been an absolute honor to be here for the last three days. We've seen so much good, Matt. I'm very impressed with the youngster already in his first final. He punted the ball, and look, it paid off. No points, didn't get him good field position. Now it's back where the game started. Hey, I get the ball to start the game. Let's get it. Prescott. In route. All kind of time, and there's Cobb, possession catch at the 47. 
It's our first completed pass of the game. That was just a good read right there by Henry. You saw him going through those progressions. Mo went with the vertical route. Henry checks down to the deep dig. Good, good execution right there from the young buck. And just if you need audio cues, it is Sirius Mo in the white cowboy uniforms. And Henry is in the Navy. Second and 10. Cowboy v. Cowboy. Quick throw. Cooper. Oh. oh. And a spin and he's got space. And he can motor all the way down to the eight oh, yard line. That was great stick, but not so great at the end. He kind of went on the sideline where he had to like, he does that animation like tiptoe to the sideline, he gets Fred. caught. I wonder if he doesn't do that little bitty animation if he will be out. I call those the Fred Flintstones animations on the tiptoes, tippy by the, toes. By the way, we saw Kiv throw that dot about three or four times to that outside. Skimbo will be using it next week. That's and bad. Cooper. We'll walk in and our first score of the final goes to the rookie, Henry. Hey, I'm telling you, when at this level, man, sometimes the best of the best, it comes a guessing game. Mo, I think, ran commit or did something to his corner. Play action dot for a touchdown on a first down, man. That's impressive by Henry. And this will be harmlessly. Ball into the end zone will not be returned, so they'll mark it at the 25-yard line, and now Sirius Mo's got to answer after this throw. It's the play action just really got the corner back to suck in, bite on it. By the time they realized it was a pass, it was just way too late. That fade route wide open. That was some glitchy stuff. Curious, curious. I haven't right seen Mo play a lot. Has he played from behind yet this tournament? Couldn't be more than 7 nothing. He's undefeated so far, won oh, nine oh. straight games. And he's shaking his head once again. That's be curious. The other thing to call, I mean, Henry, this is a guy with over 600 online games played. Mo, you got to think, spent the majority of his night last night preparing for his game against Beast Mode Mac. So he was very well prepared for that, but how is this offense going to stack up against Henry's defense? And now we got a huge fourth down. Fourth and five, trailing by a touchdown, and Moe's going to go. This is huge. Runners do not like to play from behind, man. They'll change the bunch to trips. Baby play action. Man to man, got his own over there. Send him. He's going to throw it to White coming back. And he Cooper. Oh, play. He's got room. Will spin oh, off and then he'll man. cough it up. And at the end of the quarter, Moe's lucky to still have possession. And you know what I love to see is I look out here in the crowd and this tons of competitors just still here, staying in attendance, just enjoying some good old fashioned championship, high stakes competitive mat in NFL football. Start of the quarter here. Mo with the ball, trailing by a touchdown here in the final. If he wins, he's the champ. If he loses, they'll have to play again in this first ever double elimination tournament. And Elliott will get to the 41-yard line. I'm, I, I know people are thinking, man, he's got run D, and it looks good. He is hitting him in the backfield. I'm telling you, if one of these arm bars connect, though, there is literally no one back there to help him. This will be the third belt we've ever passed out in the state of Texas. Dub dot W, one down in Madden 17 in Houston, Texas. Kiv won Madden 18 championship in Dallas during the draft. And now will it be Sirius Mo or Henry? And here comes a third and 11. I, I think, isn't this, what it, is this field goal range for that kicker? Six, this would be what? We saw a 60-yarder already. This would be a 61 if, say, it's an incomplete pass, right? We saw a 60-yarder with room, with a few more yards left, but Henry kicked it perfect. That's well, out of field goal range. Well, now, now you're out of field goal range. I mean, how about Henry? Everyone having trouble to stop the run. He's already made Mo pass more in this game than I think we saw Mo pass in his previous two or three combined. Fourth and 17. 
You got to remember, last time Mo was in this situation, he had to make an impromptu, improvised play. And he rolled out, and he made a play. It just, well, here we go. It's a tough way to make a living. What does he have cooked up here? 16 and a half yards. Uh-oh. Got to get past the 33. That B. Stands tall and fires. Oh, that B on the corner route. He just got locked in on it. But I'm telling you, oh. Byron Jones is just different over there. Uh, that's why I don't... I'm, it's easy to play backseat coach, but you got to avoid Byron. And if he just looked at that trip side, it looked like the corner route was breaking wide open. Oh, what a dot. It's that play over the top coverage. When they run man-to-man, -man, they don't want to get burnt. They play their man-to-man -man over the top. Those routes are open. So first and 10 now, up a touchdown. Trying to go up by two scores. And he's in field goal range. He'll hand it off to Elliott. And he maybe got one. See what the youngster does here. I, I, I think he snapped the ball too early. He should have waited and then took it to a two-minute warning. And now he's, yeah, here we go. 40-second play clock here in head-to-head -head mode. And oh, man. wow. I think one thing that's definitely apparent in this matchup is Henry looks a lot more comfortable passing this ball than Sirius Mo, and I don't think it's close right now. It's not a knock on Mo, but when it comes to this passing game, Henry is something special with these Cowboys. He's probably better than anyone I've seen passing the ball with the Cowboys. He'll go spread here on third and four. And oh, Lawrence will come hit. up. And here's oh, a fourth man. down. And that's serious Mo that'll burn a timeout. We'll have a 48 yarder. That was a big time tackle from Mo. Henry fortunate the quarterback doesn't fumble right there. Mo made a good user play with Lawrence. Give himself a chance. That's well, the kicker from Nebraska. And it's up and it's good. <sighs> 10 to nothing. Mo's Henry with his back against the wall, he's certainly shown up. Yeah, and Mo's not in a terrible position. I know he's down 10-0, and you're thinking the run's been bagged. I'm just going to keep saying it. Just takes that one, and he gets ball at half. So he's not in an awful situation, but obviously he doesn't like being in it, but it's not terrible. And, and, and let's just be real. If there was, I'm going to fight till the end, I'm not going to give up a, a trait or whatever, Mo would have it. This is a young man that we've seen battle back from deficits time and time again. He has some of the best resiliency in the entire community. And he'll hand it off to Zeke. <laughs> just can't get one of those arm bars, Mike. You're calling it. It's just one broken tackle away from being a crib shot, and just no dice so far. And it's Westry coming up with the tackle. Henry going to a big nickel over G. And Elliott mm. has got his X factor going because he ran an inside zone. Elliott has that inside guru, uh, inside zone guru ability. That's gonna give him some extra blocking when you run any type of inside zone type run with him. Yeah, a little superstar ability action. Has a man, he'll throw it away. Yeah, good throw away. That would've been a tough throw to make right there off your back foot for about 50 yards. How about Henry uh, switching up? I don't think we've seen him in much big nickel over G throughout the entire tournament. And Doing something different. Well, he's doing it in this gun bunch tight end. Maybe when he goes against like a gun bunch tight end or certain formations, he feels comfortable in his passing defense and a running defense if they want to pop a run. He's going to try to shoot that hole on a run. And Elliott will cut it back. And this is going to break up third and short. Timeout. Mike talked about this in that situation. Uh, you you kind of want to see a stiff arm from, from Zeke right there. I don't know about the juke or the spin. Uh, the only way I think Mo does that is he thinks he's going to run off and click off and try to get the CPU's ankles broken. He's going to try to shoot that gap. Yeah, you got to watch out. Oh, so it's going to depend on the spot. Oh, the no. Edges. He's got to hurry up, too. There's not much time with only one timeout. Mo's got himself in a situation here. Let's see how he responds. They can't give it back to Henry here. And Zeke will get the oh first down God. and a little bit more, and he'll use his <laughs> final timeout. Oh, man, these runs are just scary. I swear one of these are just about to pop off. This is intense. This is a huge 25 seconds we got here, boys. Mo outside of field goal range, down two possessions. Really needs to find a way to get himself some points here. Will Mo clutch up? 
We've seen him do it before. Can he do it against the young phenom? Goes from the bunch to the trips. Dak. Got to throw it away. It's 20 oh, seconds to go. I'm just going through my head right now because I, I, I don't know for sure. If he throws a dot for about 15 yards, does he come out and field goal and it is too late? Or if he comes out and spiked, is it enough time? I think he got to go spike. Oh, yeah, what a hell hit. Yeah. We'll it's see right blown here. blown up. And it spike. will be a spike. And he can hit this. This is We've huge. We've seen a 60-yarder. This is huge. It was from Henry earlier. And we're going to see a fill block return from Henry. Not as much power as Henry got on it, but it's up and it is good. Woo -hoo -hoo. 260 yarders. I've seen him make a 62 before. How about serious Mo back against the wall, finds a way to get three. And despite the slow start, has a chance here to put a drive together to tie the ball game. Tavon here to start the second half. Remember, it's double elimination. If Mo wins, he's the champ. If Henry holds on, we'll play another for all the marbles. Yeah, I'm sure Henry feels good right now in his position and where he's at. But like I said, it takes one run, and then all the pressure is right back on Henry. Jason Witten. Just God. Move in motion, and Zeke gets caught up in the line. On the traffic. And he'll gain two. How about this run defense? 14 rushes for only 42 yards. This drives everything. You don't think he's played a lot of mutt head to head and people just try toting on him? Yeah, over 600 <laughs> over games. Over 600 games. I bet you've seen the run about four to 500 of those games. There you go. And oh Zeke. God, bro. Boy, he had a block. The tight end couldn't hold it. Oh, most. He, I know he's sick about his he's run stick there. I think he's getting frustrated. He knows how many opportunities he's had now. If he just can break that tackle to get on his horse. And he'll stretch it out again. Gets away from Vander Esch. Makes a man miss. Still on his feet. Ah. But they gobble him up at the 31. And I'm not trying to make excuses for him because his run stick's been good. But waiting those, those couple games, did he get cold a little bit? I don't know. There we go. Huge fourth and four. He's going to come out in this gun bunch tight end. And while he was waiting, Henry had to win a couple games just to get to this point. He hasn't had a break. Fourth and four. Oh, my. Dak will hand it off. Pollard, the rookie, got to get there, and he what will. A fight. What a huge animation from Pollard to get the stiff arm and fight for Moe's Guap to keep the drive alive. Mo, a huge Cowboys fan. Needs his favorite team to come up clutch here. Up the gut again. Look at Henry. This is what football coaches oh, call man. hats on Playing ball. Myself, bro. Anywhere Mo's going, I mean, this blue jersey's flying over there, just trying to cause all kinds of havoc. And this is great defense from young Henry so far. Second and 11. Mo down by a touchdown. This is his opening drive of the second half. And this is taking a lot of time to go about 19 yards. I'm impressed, man. I know a couple of those runs look scary, but then there's a couple times Henry's got not only his user making a play, but CPU helping clean up, clean up too. He needs nine. Got to get to the 48-yard line. Here comes the corner oh, blitz. What happened? Oh, no! Moe's out of the seat. He's disgusted. That was a touchdown. Throws a bullet. He had time. Busted coverage. Busted click on. And now we got ourselves in an intense fourth and nine on championship Sunday in the championship game. This Who is, stands up for himself? This is everything right here, Mike. Yeah, Henry's <laughs> He might be the worst at having broken coverages offline. It's that experience, Skim. Play action. Hey, coming across the formation. He's waited too long. Now you just got to heave it up. And Tavon can't get there. So funny. And Henry will take over on downs. 
Yeah. I, I, I'm actually shocked that Henry's coming out to gun bunch and not getting into that run formation he did versus Kiv. Try to milk some clock and make it a two possession game. And he's going to run it. And Zeke will take two defenders for a ride, but it's a gain of zero. Mm. You're playing good defense. I would honestly, like, I know I'm a passer and I probably would pass, but I'd be really looking for drags or escape artists and not anything, no deep plays. Prescott, here comes some heat. They pick it up. He steps up and he'll scramble out and slide down. That's going to be just shy of the marker. Here comes a third and one, but he's deep in field goal range now. Yeah, and you look at Henry, he's going through his plays. He's looking for a good run play. I like this call by him. Well, we haven't seen this. Duke formation. Back dive. Let's see if he goes straight ahead. Now he'll still give it to Zeke. They gave him two yards. And yeah, that'll be a first down. Looks like a yard at most. They gave him a fall forward in the ball, and like uh, it's weird. The ball was in this hand, and so they it's just that's Madden for you. Here comes the fourth quarter. And if you're Henry right now, you could literally run this ball three straight times, take two minutes off of the clock, kick the field goal, and be up two possessions, which the way Sirius Mo's offense looks, that, that's going to be really hard for him to overcome. Look at them having some fun in the Look, players' lounge. Joke, Searich, Little Man, Miz. I, I went out with the boys last night. I can't, I, I'll be honest, I miss seeing everyone. It was a good time. Elliot. <laughs> if you're serious, Modi, you have a hit stick or a defensive play in you right now to just get you back in this ball game. Can you force the youngin into a mistake and then capitalize on it? Got stuck on a DT. He keeps getting stuck on the DT. <gasps> oh, there oh my it was! What the fuck? Cobb with a first down. You gotta settle down if you're Mo right there. You had the opportunity to make a play, but it was it was a tough one. It's just what's crazy. I know what Henry saw after we see this sweep, probably arm bar. Touchdown. Oh Spin. Got lucky as hell, bro. I know I know what Henry saw. He saw the hitch, the hitch was open. And sometimes when a wide receiver in this game sits in a spot for too long, oh. they want to make a play for you. So as soon as he was throwing it, his wide receiver said, let me go upfield right into this zone. That's why it looks so scary. It was kind of unfortunate for Henry, and then it was really unfortunate, though, for Mo not getting a pick. Yes. What about that response from the crowd, the players that are still around, that have hung around all week on that spit move for the touchdown? And Henry in control, 17-3. to Look at it again, John. There's nice spin, whoopsie. And Henry, the youngin, just playing in the championship game, doing what he needs to do. But Mo, still in this ball game, almost gave it away, though. This is the first time we've had double elimination in the MCS era, and Mo possibly is going to need it. Undefeated so far, 9-0. Henry had to win this ball game to force an well, extra game. And Moe's been one of the, you know, there are some players that, I, I like single elimination personally, but Moe is one of the players that's been dying for double. Give me a double elimination. I'm not losing a double elimination. He's been dying right. for it. You know, and I was even thinking in my head, I bet you kind of wish it was a single elimination because he would have won the tournament already. But with that being said, I bet you Mo will, if, say there is a second game, I'm sure he'll come out adjusted. This is a huge drive for him. I'm telling you, boys, this oh game isn't over. Serious Moe's the type of guy. He just needs to score and drive right here, and he'll know what to do with that type of momentum. Beast but easier said all the than way done. open. What a and hit. he had to come Good back for on. it. Good click on right there and get a hit stick. That's, wow. That's next level stuff. We've been preaching it all week up here, Skim, that the difference between elite level players and your average Joes like me and Coltrane is we're not clicking on making those kind of plays. I'm like number 513 in the world. <laughs> Just outside the registration. That's a dot. And Tavon nice needs to hold on. Catch. Possession catch for the first down. Excellent possession catch. I, I'm over here looking around. Where's he, where's he have Byron Jones at? <laughs> I'm looking for Byron. To yeah, make he's on the play. outside, on the wide side. Okay. See him standing there with the X underneath at the 40-yard line. But he's not thrown it in that direction. And Van Der Eschel missed. And got out of bounds. The hit stick. Right there, you might just try to A-tackle it. Don't let him get out of bounds because the clock is your friend. Yeah. 
Serious Mo putting the drive together, looking more and more comfortable. If he gets a touchdown, we're going to have action, boys. Man, oh, that's huge! Drop. That is huge! That runoff, 20-second runoff right there. You got it. You got to move, Mo. You got to get these timeouts safe, too. And oh, Tavon will haul it in at the 33. Mo keeping the drive alive. Big play after big play. And there's the Kiff flow right there, right? I think the camera literally always tries to find Kiff's hair. <laughs> here we go, first and 10 at the 33. Prescott looking, and he will be sacked up. Clock on the move, tick, tick, ticking away. Those runoffs are a killer. Oh, yeah, it's not like what it used to be. Prescott off his back foot, and there was Byron Jones. Oh, he just, it's just crazy how good Byron is. Maybe should have picked it off. For sure. Third and 19. Field goal no good, obviously. And this is what you worry about, like, you know, if you're Mo, you're a runner, you get behind and you got to start trying to pass the ball. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Prescott. It dropped at the 48. This is it. If you're Mo, if you don't have a Madden miracle here, a little magic, you can't let this game hang around. I, nothing went your way. Zero. Yeah. It, it, honestly, there was a lot of plays that went Henry's way. He's not done. And now he is. There were so many runs that Mo I felt could have just broke with a stiff arm or just with. Arm was bar was non-existent, Mike. Look at the crowd. You, Crowd's into you're it. Hearing it from the crowd, they're getting into it, and we're gonna have one game to decide the Madden Classic champion. Oh, that's it, what we wanted, anyways, right? Come on now. And gentlemen, there is not.